It was the day before the Sabbath day, the eighth day of the Jewish Nazan month, that Jesus came to Bethany. And on the Sabbath day he went up to the synagogue and taught. And on the morning of the first day of the week, the Sunday of the week, he called his twelve apostles unto him and said, This day we go up to Jerusalem, be not afraid, my time has not yet come. Now, two of you may go into the village of Bethphage, and you will find an ass tied to a tree, and you will see a little colt nearby. Untie the ass and bring her here to me. If anyone inquires why you take the ass, just say, The master has a need of her, and then the owner will come on with you. And the disciples went as Jesus bade them go, they found the ass and colt a near an open door, and when they would untie the ass the owner said, Why would you take the ass away? And the disciples said, The master has a need of her, and then the owner said, Tis well. And then they brought the animal, and on her put their coats, and Jesus sat upon the ass and rode into Jerusalem. And multitudes of people came and filled the way, and his disciples praised the Lord and said, Thrice blessed is the King who in the name of God is come, all glory be to God, and peace on earth, good will to men. And many spread their garments in the way, and some tore branches from the trees and cast them in the way. And many children came with garlands of sweet flowers and placed them on the Lord, or strewed them in the way, and said, All hail the King, long live the King. The throne of David shall be built again. Hosanna, yes, adoration, to the Lord of hosts. Among the throng, among the crowd, were Pharisees, who said to Jesus as he passed, Rebuke this noisy throng, this noisy crowd, it is a shame for them to cry thus in the street. The Lord replied, I tell you, men, if these should hold their peace the very stones would cry aloud. And then the Pharisees conferred among themselves, they said, Our threats are idle words, behold, for all the world is following him. As Jesus drew a near Jerusalem he paused and wept, and said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the holy city of the Jews, yours was the glory of the Lord, but you have cast the Lord away. Your eyes are closed, you cannot see the King, the kingdom of the Lord of heaven and earth has come, you comprehend it not. Behold, the day will come when armies from afar will cast a bank about your way, will compass, yes, surround, you about, and hem you in on every side will dash you to the ground and slay you and your children in the streets. And of your holy temple, and of your palaces and walls, they will not leave a stone upon a stone, because today you spurn the offers of the God of heaven. When Jesus and the multitude had come into Jerusalem, excitement reigned, and people asked, Who is this man? The multitudes replied, This is the king, the prophet, priest of God, this is the man from Galilee. But Jesus tarried not, stayed not, he went directly to the temple porch, and it was filled with people pressing hard to see the king. The sick, the halt, the lame, the blind were there, and Jesus paused, and laid his hands on them and healed them by the sacred word. The temple and the temple courts were filled with children praising God, they said, Hosanna, yes, adoration, to the king, the son of David is the king. All hail the King, praise God. The Pharisees were filled with anger when they heard the children sing. They said to Jesus, Hear you what the children say? And Jesus said, I hear, but have you never read the words of our own bard who said, Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise. And when the evening came the Lord and his disciples went again to Bethany.